Hey everybody, so I just wanted to bring you this quick video here. Uh, this is going to be about convergence and focus adjustments on this specific CRT. Now this CRT is the JVC TM A13SU video monitor that I just got recently. Uh, I bought it off eBay and had it shipped here, so if you watch that video, uh, you'll know how it came in, and how the package looked like, and how it looked uh, unboxing it. And I mentioned in that video that there were a couple adjustments that I wanted to make, uh, specifically one of them being convergence. Uh, so what I had done just now was I took the whole back plate off, as you can see it's laying right, right here, um, and I want to go adjust the convergence rings. And while I was at it, I was also going to adjust focus too, just to make sure everything was good. So let me give you a little overview on the convergence rings here. So these are the rings. Uh, there are six of them, but these two front ones here are actually purity rings, so you don't need to worry about them. They just control the purity of the screen to make sure that the phosphors are going exactly where they need to go, and they're not illuminating other color phosphors. Uh, but this middle two ring pair here, uh, and this back one here, are what control your red, green, and blue convergence. So the middle two will control uh, your red and blue alignment, and then once you get red and blue all nice and converged together, which creates magenta, then you would use these back two to align green and magenta together. And once you get do that, you get a converged picture. Also, down here, this is where I adjusted the focus. So this top potentiometer here on the flyback transformer is the focus pot, and this is the one I was focusing on. Uh, overall, because this bottom pot here, the G2 voltage, we didn't need to worry about. So I'm going to show you how the focus looks like, only because I had already adjusted these conversion strings prior to making this video. And since these are already set, I don't want to have to uh, reconverge the whole screen because sometimes it can be very tedious. Uh, and I have the screen set perfectly to where I want it to be. So let's get into showing you how focus looks like and showing you some patterns that I use to uh, adjust convergence and focus. All right, so what I have right here is a test pattern pulled up on 240p test suite, and this is the convergence pattern. And in particular, this is one of the ones that I use a lot. So this is the bigger dot pattern. And one of the reasons that I really like using this is because uh, it shows bigger white dots that really give off a good perspective of how your convergence is like. So let me go ahead and get a close-up here and show you what I mean. All right, so as you can see here, these dots, as you get closer to them, they're actually more like crosses here. But you can see the red, blue, and green illuminated and showing just how converged your picture is. So as you can see in the corners here, it's not so great. Uh, and that's pretty typical of any CRT, really. You're not going to get the best convergence. But around the middle here, you can see these phosphors are nice and converged, having red, blue, green all slapped on top of each other. And that's what you want, and you want to try to get that across the whole screen. However, because these CRTs uh, are a little finicky, you won't be able to get that perfectly unless you took all the time in the world to uh, set the convergence. And you can use a whole couple different methods uh, so, for example, the corner convergence, if it's really bad, mis badly misconverged, you can use little magnets that stick on the back of the yoke to help draw the colors together up into the corners. Now, this video monitor doesn't really need that. Like I said, I already got the whole convergence adjusted really well on the CRT, and so everything is good there. Obviously, any little minor details like down here and whatnot, they're not really going to matter too much. But, yeah. And then on top of that, too, I will also use this pattern here. This one lets me just see how converged some areas are. So, for example, you can see the red and blue split a tiny, tiny bit here. But because this is a 13-inch CRT monitor, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but, yeah. So, besides that, I also use this pattern here for focus adjustments as well. Uh, because... Yeah, let me just show you, actually. It's a really good uh, pattern just for that. All right, so with focus, 
Uh, it's pretty easy to tell whenever you hit your mark using this convergence pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and just focus right now to show you what I mean. So as I turn this pot on the back of this flyback here, you may be able to see that the image is blurry now. So here I'll show you another little look at it from this perspective now. Funny enough, I actually use this screen too to adjust the focus because you can actually see uh, when everything focuses in perfectly, uh, mainly due to the text and also due to the picture of Artemio here. <laughs> but as I turn this potentiometer back, you can slowly start to see the picture get back into focus. But if I turn it too much, it'll go back out of focus. So you kind of have to hit that sweet spot. So right here is about as good as I want it to be right there. And now the picture looks super crisp and clear. And so yeah, doing a bit of convergence and focus work can really change just how nice the image looks. It can turn a, a kind of an ugly crappy TV into something that looks really sharp and crisp, just like that. So if you take a little bit of time to mess with the rings some, as well as mess with focus, uh, you might be able to get a really good image out of a CRT. Now let me go ahead and turn on a game just to show you what I mean. Alright, so here we have Super Mario World turned on. Man, that screen is nice. And especially for a video monitor that can show more details in an image. Uh, it really stands out. So, like I said, if you notice with a 240p test sweep that your convergence is a little off and you want to try and adjust it, go right ahead. Just make sure that once you're done with the convergence rings that you find a, a way to glue everything back on to hold them in place because obviously you don't want the rings to turn uh, while either moving the TV or if it's just, I guess, standing still and something shaking it around. Uh, but yeah, so... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little glue on the rings as well as on the focus uh, pot to keep it all in place. Then I'm going to put it back together and now we have a nice looking monitor. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, I guess give it a thumbs up. Comment uh, down below if you've ever done any convergence adjustments before. And tell me your stories on if it was really difficult or really easy. Uh, in the past for me, it used to be really difficult. But nowadays it's piece of cake. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.